Good day to all of you. I sincerely hope that all of you are feeling happy with these computer classes. Let's just talk a little bit more about what we have learned in the previous classes. Can you tell me what all you have learned in the last few classes? Can you tell me what happens with the power button? So, if you all recall correctly, we use the power button to switch on the computer. Why do we use the touchpad or mouse? Touchpad or mouse is used to move the pointer from one place to another on the screen. However, the mouse is used on a desktop computer while the touchpad is used with the laptop or notebook. How many buttons are there on the touchpad or the mouse? The touchpad has two buttons while the mouse has three buttons. Why do we use the line tool? Whenever you need to draw a line, you use the line tool. Why do we use the eraser tool? The eraser tool is used to erase off something that we do not need. Can you tell what is a taskbar? Taskbar is like a scale and it tells you about the files or folders that you are either working on or have hidden from the screen. What is MS Paint and what do we use it for? MS Paint is a software which we use to draw things. What is a toolbox? Toolbox is an important part of MS Paint which contains all the tools for drawing. In how many ways can you open an MS Paint file? You can open an MS Paint file in two ways, stepwise or by using a shortcut command. All right. So now all of you go ahead, turn on your computers and using the method taught to you, open the MS Paint file. In case you have any difficulty in doing this, watch the video being shown carefully and learn the method to open the MS Paint file. First, move your pointer to the start button, which is in the left corner of your screen or desktop. Then, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, click once on this button. A box opens up and you will see all program as an option in this box. You have to click it once using the left button of the mouse or touchpad of your computer. You will see an option saying accessory. And this is the option that all of you will select using the left button on your mouse or touchpad. Next, we have to move our pointer so that it comes on top of the paint option. Again, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, click it to open the paint file. Okay, go ahead. So now, let us begin with today's course. During the last class, you learned about using the eraser tool. Today, we will all practice the use of the eraser tool. Using the line tool, you will also make some pictures. You may choose to make pictures like house, star, bat, etc. Using the selection tool, you will learn to erase things. Now, we will also learn how to close an MS Paint file. And finally, we will also learn how to shut down the computer. Look at the picture in front of you and say, what is this called? This is a picture of a simple house. Can all of you easily make this picture or not? What tool will you use to make this picture? 
you will use the line tool to make this picture. Let us now learn to make this picture by watching the video being shown to you. While drawing this picture, if you have any questions, you may ask your teacher. Let us now watch this video and learn how we can make this home. To make this home, you need to select the line tool. So take your pointer into the toolbox and left click on the line tool. And as has been taught to you, by pressing the left button, we drag a line as is being shown. Then from the top, again we drag another line on the right side. Remember that after drawing each line, you need to remove the dots which are on the sides of the line by clicking on any white space in the drawing. We have drawn a third line, a small line on the left side. Next, we draw another line on the right side like this to make the roof of the house. A line going downwards by dragging. We click to remove the white dots. We go here and draw a line downwards. We click to remove the white dots. We go here and draw a line downwards. Walls to sides of the house. We slightly straighten it. And then we join the two end points. So our basic structure of the house is ready. Now we are making the door of the house by drawing a line downwards like this. Then from this point we draw towards the right. And from here downwards, we are just straightening the line, removing the dots at the ends, and then join the two end points to make this box kind of structure, which is the door of the house. Next, we are making a small window pane in the door. Like this, we draw a line. By drawing a line downwards, like this. Remove the dots. Another line like this. and then join the two bottom end points. Then we want to make a small ventilator in the roof of the house. So we are drawing a vertical line. A horizontal line here. Then another vertical line coming downwards. and join like this. Next we will make a cross within the ventilator like this, which are the bars of the ventilator and a horizontal bar like this. We remember to remove the dots at the ends of the lines after drawing each line. Now we are drawing a window. So we have drawn one line.
we draw another line downwards like this we will draw a line downwards here then we'll join the two bottom points and just like in the ventilator we made cross bars we will also make these cross bars in the window from here in the middle to downwards like this then from the on the horizontal side in the middle like this we also wish to draw a small window shelf or a window sill on the window or we can start from this side and then we draw a parallel line like this to the bottom of the window we need to correct it a little bit and then we have to join the two end points like this we just need to correct that properly and now we have connected now we are going to draw a small chimney for the smoke to go out of the house so here we are drawing the smoke uh, smoke chimney like this and now from this point we need to take a line downwards till the roof of the house so this way our drawing of the home is complete can you tell me how can we erase this picture to erase this you can use the erase tool but you will also learn a method to use the selection tool for erasing in order to erase this picture using the selection tool we will first go to the selection tool bring our pointer on top of the selection tool and then select the box appearing in the selection tool we will cl click there on that box and select by clicking when we press on the selection tool we see options and we have to use the select all option when we press on select all you will see that a box appears all around our drawing of the picture in dotted lines now look for the delete button on your keyboard and press it and your picture gets erased look at the picture being shown and say what is this picture called this is a picture of a star now can you easily make this picture or no what tool will you use to make this picture you will make this picture with the help of line tool so once again let us watch the video being shown carefully and learn how to make this picture we will select the line tool come into the drawing page and draw a line first horizontally then as is being shown in the video like this join the lines the third line and draw a line from here to this point another one from here to here and this completes the picture of a star you can erase this drawing also using the select all tool look at this picture and say what is this picture called this is a picture of a paper plane
I have the same question for you now. Can you all make this picture or not? Using which tool will you make this picture? You will all make this picture using the line tool. So, now as usual, let us watch this video carefully and learn how to make this type of picture. To make this drawing, firstly select the line tool. And now in the drawing sheet, make a line by dragging. Similarly, you can use this dragging technique to draw a second line as is being shown in the video. From here till here. Remember that after each line, you should go away from the drawing and click to remove the dots. We have joined the last two lines. Now from here, we draw a line by dragging downwards. We need to take the pointer here and join these two points, these two lines. Next, we will take the pointer again to this point and make another line by dragging till this point. Join the last two dots of these lines and the structure is ready. Now, just to give minor touches, we are drawing this line from here to here, clicking so that the dots go away. We have to make this line slightly longer. So we are doing that and then we just draw a line, vertical line to join this. Small lines from here to here as we had seen in the original picture. Once we are done doing this, our drawing is complete. This picture can also be easily erased using the method we have just earlier learned. Again look at the picture in front of you and tell what is this picture called? This is a picture of a plough and it is used to till the soil. We will again use the line tool and make this picture also. So let's all again watch this next video and learn how to make this picture. So we will select the line tool and draw a line as is being shown and then another one. Draw a line parallel to the second line and join the two endpoints as is being shown. Then from here draw a line slanting downwards and make triangular tip of the plough. Join from the top like this and join these two endpoints. Make a slanting line upwards and join these last two lines. This completes the picture of a plough. Remove the dots by clicking on the drawing sheet. You can also erase this drawing using the select all option. And now towards the end of today's class, we will learn to draw the picture of a sword. Go ahead and all of you make this picture. And if you still need to clear any doubts, please look at the video and be sure to learn how such pictures are made. Again need to choose or select the line tool and drag a slanted line as is being shown in the video. Then. We take another line, drawing a parallel line just besides the first line like this. Remember to click on the side to remove the dots, white dots on the lines. Now we are making the handle on the bottom of the sword. So we are making a box kind of handle here like this. Join these two. And the handle itself is now being made by drawing another slanted line on the bottom. A second line like this. And then we need to join the two bottom 
points of the two lines remove the dots and join the top edge of the sword to make the drawing of the sword we can make a small line here just to make the sword look better this completes our drawing of the sword now all of you need to close your paint file since today's class will end here so Let's all again watch this next video and learn to close this paint file. We need to take our cursor or the pointer to the top right corner of the screen and click on the close button. When you come there, you see close written. Click there and a box appears on your paint file having three options, save, don't save and cancel. Since we are not going to save this, we select don't save and the paint file gets closed and then you will all yes shut down your computers in the proper method that we have learnt earlier so do you all remember how to shut down your computer properly and now all of you who are confident that they know how to shut down their computers will go ahead and shut down their computers and for those of you who are still facing any problems please look at the video which is again being shown for you and learn from the video in order to shut down the computer as is being shown in the video you have to bring the pointer to the start button here and click on the start button look for the shut down button in this window and click on that this is also being shown to you in the video once you click with your left button this computer will shut down properly so in today's class you have learned to make many pictures with the help of line tool and with the help of selection tool you have also learned how to erase this picture plus you all have by now learned how to properly shut down your computer thank you